Am I a squid sister yet? <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. So, as some of you guys know who've been following me on my other social media, I caved and bought Splatoon 2. And my gosh, oh, I haven't even explained this video, but as you guys can maybe tell, like, I guess I'll just talk about things I recently picked up. Mm, yeah one of those days. The Splatoon 2 starter pack or starter edition comes with stickers and the game and this cute little strategy guide. Oh my gosh. And it just comes with like your little basic information. And I already beat the main game of the story and oh my gosh. Yeah, probably this game is the reason why I haven't been productive in uploading videos, but I'll try to get back more into it. I also need to edit a, a vlog that I did going to Sacramento. I also picked up Nino Kuni 2. I'm just kidding, I got a t-shirt of Nino Kuni 2. It's kind of funny and ironic that I want this game, but I got a t-shirt of it but there's a good reason for it. They had a, a little deal going on. It was like, buy one t-shirt, get another t-shirt, 50% off or something. And then I also got this shirt. <laughs> if you played Persona 5, you know. Speaking of Persona 5, I got uh, this heavy art book. You guys, I got this gigantic heavy art book. It was $40, but I got it on sale for $20. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a good deal. When I went over to GameStop to ask them if they had it in stock, because I saw it on the website, but not all stores will carry it. And then one guy went to go check in the back, and then I got the last one, and when they rang it up, they were surprised too. They're like, what? 20 bucks? <laughs> And yeah, it has like the artwork here and it's got Ryuji and the shirt that I showed you. I'm doing things out of order, but I also picked up some Splatoon 2 Amiibos. Uh, I got Marina and Pearl. Yeah, so I got Marina and Pearl Amiibos and they're so cute. <laughs> I love Pearl. She's got like a little attitude and sassiness and stuff. And actually I looked up their ages and she's about 21 and I'm like, I can so relate to her. We're forever stuck looking like children even though we're kind of old and Marina is about 18. Yeah. And my boyfriend thinks that she looks the best. <laughs> You also get exclusive gear when you scan the amiibos on the Switch. And yeah, I've been playing Splatoon 2, so I beat the story mode. I think I, what is it, beat like sector 3. There's only like five sectors within those has like about six or so levels in there and then each one has like a little boss that you have to beat. Anyway, so I played through like three of those and then I got into the online battle mode thing, the turf war. And yeah, it's so fun, so competitive. I, I don't think I, I call this a waste of time as some people do, but I assure you guys, I do not have gaming disorder, but sometimes I'll be playing online for, for a couple hours and stuff. I keep telling myself as I play, just just one more match and, and that's it. Then I win that match. Then I tell myself, okay, I'm on a winning streak, so uh, just, just a couple more, I gotta keep it going. And, <laughs> and then I lose one and then I, I say to myself, okay, I gotta end on a win. And then the cycle continues. As you can see, this is very prom. Oh wait, I turned on, <laughs> while I was pretending I turned on my console game. And then you learn some stuff about the game and how players interact. It doesn't have a really good, well, from what I've read and seen online, the Switch doesn't really have a good voice chat 
kind of thing going on. So you can't really do a lot of really good teamwork with strangers or whatever online. You have to use the little commands that are already on there, which is limited to you either say booyah or <laughs> to congratulate your teammates on say, I don't know, you killed someone and you're like booyah. <laughs> or you just want to mess around then by all means, I guess you, they just spam that button. And then there's also that this this way command and um, and most of the time when my teammates uh, s like use that button I ignore it I'm like I'm not gonna follow them I do my own thing that's how I am you know supporting my team from the shadows <laughs> um, even though I'm not like a sniper or something the, the weapons I use in that game are a bucket <laughs> and the arrow spray, which uh, has a sub weapon, when you build it up, then you unleash like a whole bunch of these little little bombs that are robots that go out and then leave a paint, a, yeah, paint trail. And it's funny because I send out, they look like Roombas basically, and I send out my army of Roombas, and everyone goes away and. I, I'm in peace once more. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's it's the funniest yet most annoying thing when to destroy or whatever another player, they don't really call it a kill, like say in Fortnite or whatever, but they call it to splat someone because I guess you splat them with paint. When your player gets splatted, then it shows who, who got you and you, you kind of look at them your force the camera forces you to look at the player that destroyed you i guess so you can either get revenge or look at them taunt you <laughs> usually it's the second and the way other players taunt you is to do the squid flop and my gosh i think it's annoying but oh my gosh i've seen it happen so many times it's because your character transforms from a kid form to squid form to go through the ink and if you spam that button to transform and stuff it looks like you're jumping really fast the squid flop is the equivalent to the tea bag <laughs> and if you don't know what tea bagging is please don't look it up don't ruin your minds okay my innocent children i also picked up well this isn't really game related but i also got this little Rement box thingy. Uh, it has like little gardening stuff. Summer edition. It's cute. I like it. Perfect size for my Nendroids. <gasps> I got the rice cooker thing. You got this gigantic stove or outdoor stove and some rice. <laughs> Man, I was kind of hoping for the watermelon and the porch. <laughs> And you also get these like little things that you can cut out. Here's a fly swatter and a mirror and a painting. And I also picked up these Gudetama things. I don't know what they are. I just got it because it has Gudetama. And look at his face. He's just, just pushing his little cheeks. <laughs> oh, they're like little mochis. Oh. I don't think I can eat them all. Huh. They must be like pudding flavor because it has that. Maybe I'll eat it later. I don't know. They're too cute. It looks too cute. It comes with a little little fork thing. I can't. I can't. Sorry, you guys. I had to put on my glasses. I need to see sometimes. <laughs> yeah, not all the time, but sometimes. So if you guys are still watching up to this point in the video, I want to thank you for well, watching at least the entirety of my video sometimes. And I wanted to do a small little giveaway. Some people were a little salty about my last giveaway because they didn't know it was going to be a giveaway. But this time I'll alert you guys. I usually don't or I try to keep my giveaways a sort of secret because I don't want to attract the wrong people like if I label a video giveaway I get a bunch of random people who never really supported my channel and are only here for the giveaways then that's what we're gonna get and I don't want that you guys are the real people my real supporters <laughs> I mean, I don't want to hype anyone up. That's why I didn't really hype up the last one because I'm like, uh, my giveaways are kind of lame. I'm trying, you guys. I, I try to make it thoughtful and sweet and whatnot. Okay, so what I'm giving away is 
or are this cute little keychain, the Salmon Row keychain. I got this because I watched that one anime, Hina Matsuri, and she and Hina, the main character girl, she loves Ikura or Salmon Row on like everything. And I actually got one for myself too, so we can be matching. I also got this tiny little notebook. Look at it, it's tiny, it's cute. Who wouldn't want this? And you guys can put all your, your little deep dark secrets in here. Yeah. I'm also throwing in this Doraemon little snack thing that I had in my other video that I tried out. It's corn soup flavor. I actually got a huge pack of them. The giant pack I got, there was only like two giant packs left because I guess it's the most popular one. So you guys can try it out for yourself. I've actually shared with my family. They think it tastes like the Kix cereal or whatever. I don't care. I think it kind of tastes like corn. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so. And in my last video, since there were a lot of people who really liked the socks that I picked. I picked out some other socks. I actually got men's socks and women's socks. So I got these sushi socks. These are the men's socks. Women can wear them too. It was listed in men's sizes. So yeah, it can fit sizes 6 to 13. I got the sushi pattern because sushi fairy. I think it fits, even though I never even make sushi on here. <laughs> and then my second pair of socks, the women's socks, are Gudetama. Look at him holding his little head like he's confused, like, oh my god, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Me most of my life. I don't know, I think it's like a one size fits all so, sort of thing doesn't really say the sizes. And I'll also include a sticker, a sticker or two of these. Well, I'm gonna cut out one. I have a whole sticker sheet. I love this artist, Hikari Shimoda. She makes wonderful art. I actually got it off of her official website and yeah, I cannot afford any of her originals which cost thousands of dollars. I'm not that rich, so I'm getting you guys stickers. And I'll also be throwing in a letter which probably maybe some people don't even care, but I'll decorate it in more stickers. I know, I sound lame decorating things with stickers. Ah, here's some little birds, look at them, look at them, they're so cute. And some money some sticker money. I found bread. They're so cool. Um, but if any of you guys win and you want these stickers to be like you want me to cut it out like this one, I'll put in the description how you guys can enter to win or whatever. Yeah, just read. I don't know if I should like separate the prizes out so that whoever is entering has a higher likely chance to win. And if you guys still think this giveaway is lame, then it's okay. You don't have to enter. Yeah, so just Follow the directions in the description down below. Bye! Please don't take off my mask, my place to.